What's up, guys? We're here. We've got a waiting line. We got to walk to door 14 at this place here in Statesville and go check in. So we'll be right back with you guys in a sec. Oh. All right, guys. Let me get away from you. We are all checked in. If you can hear me, passing the slide ass truck. <laughs> but we're all checked in. Well, this is two drivers already. Actually, another TSH guy parking the door, and a driver that's in front of me is about to park in the other empty door. They only got two. Um, the only downside of that, because when it was the other way, just looking back there, they used to have at least four doors so you can park, you know, throw a flatbed in. But now they only got two strict for flatbed, and then, yeah, they got drive vans and containers that pick up and drop stuff off of the rest of the way so oh, imagine driving that right now a little scooter it's pretty chilly woke up it was 32 degrees this morning in knoxville truck was sitting all week from wednesday afternoon uh, didn't turn it on at all but it started batteries were we're good we're good we got it on we got it on but uh yeah so we're gonna see here, pull forward this guy, or the driver pulls forward, and once him or the other driver, still holler that's already in there, then we'll point at the door back in and uh, get loaded. So um, they're decently fast, but I estimate right now to be here probably close to two hours before I take off. So it should leave here around 12. It's about, we got here just before 11. Actually, so we'll get out of here before one. That's still a good time. We gotta drive about seven hours. And uh, we're gonna drive up to uh, towards Cincinnati. It's our first stop over there in Cincinnati. And then we'll go up towards the rest of North, uh, East Ohio. So, you guys see me. But we also, let me go through. We do have a reload after that. And uh, we picked, uh, I took a reload that was on the board, Paywell. Three hour deadhead, but we'll go for McConnellsburg, if I say that right, uh, Pennsylvania. So we'll drop this off, which we'll drop them all off tomorrow. That's the goal. So hopefully, right? That's the goal. We'll drop them off tomorrow. I timed it. Um, so we're good. And then uh, we're going to deadhead towards McConnellsburg, PA, Pennsylvania to pick up our next load of also probably one piece tractor, whatever, or lift. And then we're gonna pick one of those going to Lincoln, Nebraska. But you say, oh, there's nothing over there. Yeah, probably not, but it's paying well. Right now I'm just, uh, I think this week's gonna be a good week, man. This week's gonna be a good week. We're gonna cover where our deductions with the next load and to make a little bit of money by Friday. And um, that's, that's, that's a thumbs up to be able to come out from the holiday and cover your deductions. So uh, that is a good thing. We pull forward here. Nobody's behind me anyway, but uh, that is definitely a good thing to, to be able to do um, after a holiday. If you can cover your deductions for those coming in, covering your deductions uh, and you plan it properly, which is why we took that load out of New Orleans. They actually came in clutch. They didn't pay too great, but it put a big dent enough for us to have this and chance to, excuse me, hiccups to have deductions covered for the truck payment, all that kind of stuff done this week. And, you know, have the opportunity to make a little bit of money by the end of the week, which is always good. Something is better than nothing, uh, especially at the end of the month when you have, you know, home bills and all that kind of stuff do as well. So it's all good. So I have uh, a couple of things to talk about, but uh, we'll do that a little later. So let's continue. Continue. I want to sit here, wait for a minute. I'm going to pull forward and uh, we'll get going.
TSA just pulling out. That's how I turn to pull into the door. Work boys and girls, we are loaded, we are loaded. Now we gotta go out here, get out of the parking spot here and go secure. So, let's go do that and I'll show you when I'm all done. Tie down area, boys and girls, tie down area. All right guys, let me show you what we got. How we strapped it in, definitely changed strap here it's my chain strap if you can see over there it's kind of looped around because i have that boom also from that little piece over there and uh that's uh sorry for the focus part trying to be fancy here but it goes over the boom so you can see and it wraps around everything else chains to change an easy unit on the side these are not very heavy there's six to three hundred pounds each so you got to change plenty Plenty of securement. Two straps on the tracks in here because it's sideways. Uh, just in case you start Facebook uh, or YouTube security, start talking. Um, it's also how the uh, shipper wants them done. And when they're like that, chain on this one, two chains, one on each side, over secure. Same thing here. Got a little protection there for the strap under that. Um, just to give it more pressure. But secure, nice and tight. These are not heavy at all either on this side and what was the camera on this one? Got a strap here to push that down so it keeps that piece of wood down and it doesn't come off, flies off because the chains 
on this side, kind of lift it up a little bit. And I just want to make sure this does not fly off. So I put an extra strap there just to push that down. Of course, anchor in. Same thing on this side. So uh, we're ready to roll. So turn the truck. We got our split. We're gonna get out of here. I'll get that in a second. This is my locks. How I was locked my uh, chains and, and everything there. So uh, we're gonna take off. Turn on the truck. Get out of here. We got about seven hours to drive. Uh, up 77. Uh, I believe 71 down towards Cincinnati where our first stop is and uh, so we can get all these off tomorrow and get our reload easy first thing in the morning on Wednesday so I'll update you guys a little bit let me get rolling and out of here <laughs> 